Alright people, welcome to my video on how to install uh, BMW M3 mirrors on a BMW E46 sedan. Uh, to begin with, uh, please make sure you have the right uh, OEM mirrors. Uh, there is a slightly, uh, there's a slight difference between left hand side drive models and right hand side drive models. Uh, right side blah blah blah. Um, yeah, the angle is slightly different so uh, don't buy the wrong ones uh, like I did. Uh, so this is uh, a left hand side uh, uh, mirror uh, there are a few big uh, big threads uh, on this on the internet <coughs> uh, one of the things they say is that you have to cut uh, this line here you really don't need to do that uh, it's very hard to do also really uh, I don't recommend you do that um, one thing you do really have to do is you have to make a small incision right here this is absolutely necessary uh, you do this uh, and you have to uh, you, you have to grind down a few of these studs, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to remove the old ones. I have uh, I have bought uh, English uh, mirrors, so the guy uh, screwed me over. So uh, this is uh, this is my right. So as you can see, this is a uh, English mirror. Uh, as you can see, my steering wheel is on the left hand side. Um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, and then I'm going to show you how to uh, take off the door. So now we're in the car, uh, the angle is, uh, is not good, you see a lot of the door. As you can see the mirror is already tilted uh, mostly to the outside, it can't go any further. So it's just completely wrong. I uh, already re replaced the, uh, the, right, the right side. So which, uh, which now look good. Uh, also, my car has the Harman Kardon uh, uh, speakers, tweeters, so uh, and that's a bit of a challenge also, but no worries. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So uh, this is the door. The first thing you have to do, uh, you have to take off this piece right here. Uh, which goes on here, it's just uh, holding with a few clips. You just uh, pull it out. Uh, if you stick a screwdriver or whatever between there, so you just take that out. The door itself is uh, held in with uh, five screws. One over here, uh, a large one over there. Uh, there's actually one over there, uh, and two of them over here. So uh, we're gonna take those ones uh, out, and then we'll continue. Uh, all right, so we're gonna take the door off now. Uh, make sure you have uh, plastic tools like this, so you don't damage anything. Just stick one between there. Yeah, so we we have to pop it off, right? Just move it a, about like that. Pop that sucker off. Okay, so now now you can use your hands. A bit safer. There are uh, a few clips on the top here also. Uh, and across just pop it off I'm using one hand so it's quite hard there it goes just be ever so careful with this you don't want to damage anything yeah so there it goes uh, yeah So we have the door off right now. Uh, we have to uh, disconnect the speakers. Uh, there goes uh, the cable for my uh, English mirror. Uh, so we have to disconnect uh, this one. Okay, here, just pull it out. Uh, a bit of force. There it goes. And that one. And you can just take this one out as well. So uh, make sure you have all the screws. So I'm missing one screw. Yeah, let's see, I think it's still on the door. Alright, just uh, inspect everything. Uh, to make sure nothing is broken. 
So we're gonna take off the tweeter now, um, which is really not that hard. Uh, there are a few clips right here. We have to take uh, we have to take those off. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it goes already. Really, uh, don't really need to bother with these clips. They're really not important at all. Sorry for the video. Uh, there's another uh, clip right here. Just pull that off. Right, so you have to uh, you have to pull the tweeter uh, this way, right? So it's, it's stuck uh, between the window here. So you have to. Uh, see the uh, the lip that goes uh, in there you don't really have to take uh, everything out just enough so we can uh, disconnect the cable all right so one thing you do have to do you have to drill new holes these are the old ones and here so these two are the old ones and these two you have to drill um, through the steel door which is a pain in the ass so make sure you have good drill bits uh, so uh, also when you put these uh, when you tighten these please make sure you use uh, Loctite or something because uh, normally this door is holding with another screw right there with the original mirror uh, now we're just using two uh, so make sure you use Loctite or something you don't want that uh, expensive mirror coming off all right, so I'm gonna take the mirror off right now, and then I'll show you. So now we have to have the uh, mirror off. So once you will uh, take your own mirror off, the original one, you will see something like this. Uh, these are the new holes that I drilled. Uh, there is your original third hole, and these two. All right, so there is uh, a piece of metal here. You uh, also have to cut that. Uh, didn't make a uh, nice incision but hey, it works um, so when you cut this um, there's just uh, open steel so uh, you know just make sure you paint it a little bit so you won't get any rust also the um, insulation uh, is still from the old mirror the uh, the M3 mirrors don't really have that much insulation and um, what more can I tell you about this there's a little hole up here which is also mentioned in the threads um, yeah so this is actually the lip let's see if I can focus here yeah this is actually the lip there uh, for which you have to cut the uh, the little uh, incision in the M3 mirror so right now oh yeah and uh, this right here this triangle uh, that's why you have to uh, yeah grind off those studs so I'm going to show you the old mirror right now. Here you can see how much I grinded off the studs. Uh, not much at all. You only have to grind off these two. Um, there's also the original installation from the M3 mirror, uh, which really isn't that much. Um, yeah. Painted these myself, came out pretty good. I would recommend uh, pain, uh, getting them painted professionally, but. Yeah right. So uh, we're gonna take out the uh, uh, the mirror glass. Uh, for this, you're gonna need a small, very small screwdriver, uh, preferably. Just be super careful. I actually broke the uh, other glass trying to take the this sucker out. Um, you can move the um, the mirror uh, by pushing it. You can move the motor. So that's what we're gonna need to do because under here is a small. Uh, yeah, clip I would say, and we're gonna uh, let's see here again. Uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, there it is a bit. So you're gonna have to push that to the right or the left, and then you can take the mirror out. Um, yeah, so just be super careful with that. So uh, this is my car. As you can see, you really don't have to 
because uh, the hyper juice or whatever it's called it, it looks just fine don't do that it's really not necessary also the um, the angle is not uh, affected by it at all it just looks uh, quite good you barely notice that it's a bit thicker than it should be I really don't uh, recommend bothering uh, cutting that off so here we can see the uh, the incision that I made in the old mirror. That's about it. Um, I just used a um, rotary grinder, I think it's called. I just use something like this, but be super careful, man. It just it's just awful to use this to cut into that mirror. Uh, it's just fucking dangerous as well. Just so be super careful with that. Um, so right now I'm gonna grind off a few of these studs so we can make sure um, it fits. Also another thing, uh, this mirror is an or original uh, M3 mirror and it uh, came in, in primer. Uh, I'm sure it still says Grundiert, uh, which is German for primed. Um, you have to, um, how do you say it? The, uh, yeah, you have to make those, uh, uh, oh shit, I don't know how to say it in English, but you have to, you have to uh, do that yourself. Okay, just uh, one more thing, uh, I locked tighted these bolts, uh, just make sure they are tight, but not super tight, because uh, the threads in the mirror are aluminium, so yeah, you could damage them if you uh, tighten them uh, too much. Okay, so after uh, we've installed the mirror here, the Harman Kardon speaker is not uh, gonna fit anymore. We're just gonna place it in this thing, this thingy, uh, which goes in here, let's see, like this, just like that. I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, but we're gonna just put it in and just tighten everything down. Uh, and it will just stay in place so you just don't have to uh, tighten it with bolts just put it back in and it will fit but you you're, gonna, you're not gonna hear it or anything it, it just it's it's fine all right so once you've installed the mirror and put everything back together uh, just uh, probably smarter to do this uh, uh, earlier but uh, yeah put the car in the ignition and just Check if uh, if the motor is working. And then you have uh, connected everything. Whew. Overall, I would say this uh, do-it-yourself is uh, pretty complicated. Uh, it's pretty dramatic as well. Um, the positioning of the mirror on the door is very hard to do. Uh, overall, with all the drilling, all the cutting, I just I, I mean it looks so good, but I I wouldn't recommend. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just too much work, I, I suppose, and it's just not right for this car, right? I'll show you what I mean. Uh, it's just so hard to position those mirrors. If you position the mirrors too low, all the rain uh, will sip through here, right? So you'll get lots of rust in your door. Um, if you position the mirror too high, you'll get something like this which you don't really see, I mean, it still looks super good, but, you know, uh, there is an opening here, so, the mirror, I guess you could say, the mirror just doesn't fit on this car, but, it does look good, look at that. <laughs> 